What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Anime, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's staying safe. Today we're playing some Infinity Galaxy. I'm really excited today. I have been saving up to do this. And basically I wanted to make a video about it at the same time. I have finally unlocked myself the Prometheus flagship. So I'm pretty excited about that. But also I want to show you guys out there how you can do this for free to gain your points. Uh, to be honest, I probably... You hear a video bombing me. Got a lover. Good old Lily. Um... <laughs> to be honest, I probably could have done it a little bit quicker had I known about this. And I'd really sort of paid attention. But I was also picking up some other bits and bobs from there. So what I'm talking about is over in the campaign store. Now, I hope you can still hear me over the dog video bombing me there. A little pickle. Yes. Every time, every time. So basically, um, from doing your PvE missions, and obviously the chapters, etc. You can actually gain daily rewards by collecting it like so. <clears throat> and that will actually give you campaign medals, right? Now, what you can actually do with those campaign medals is take it over here to the campaign shop, if you didn't already know this. But one thing that I will point out to you, if you see in the top right-hand corner, we have flagship and we have the blueprints. For the Prometheus, you need 50. Oh, let me just double check. It is 50. Build flagship, Prometheus right there, level uh, yeah, 50 out of 50 flagship blueprints we will need. To be honest, I mean, depending on how far you've got into the campaign and how many rewards it gives you on the, on the, you know, on the daily basis, it may take you a little bit of time to save up for it, but it's going to be well worth it at the end of the day. And it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for this. You just have to be active in the game, you know, get stuck into their missions and the campaigns. And again, I always mention, if you get stuck, I've made many videos about how to do the campaign missions. It's not all about... The flagship itself, it's about, you know, strategy and, you know, sort of make sure you're positioning right. And, you know, so at the end of the day, you can always upgrade and stuff like that, which I'm going to probably do tomorrow because I, I'm stuck on a few campaign missions at the moment. So I can't proceed further, which tells me that I probably need to upgrade the flagship. So we, we'll see how that goes when I make the video about it tomorrow. But what I want to do today is make sure that I build my Prometheus. So let's jump out of here quickly, get that out of the way. And like I said, that actually refreshes, by the way. I thought I'd mention that. <clears throat> it refreshes every day. I think it's every day. I believe it's every day at least. So you can actually pick up 30 shards. I'll call them shards or 30 cards, blueprints for the Prometheus. And you're only going to need 50. And then obviously what you can do is collect more to then fortify it. Let's go build it and find out. Okay, coming over here to the flagship like so, and it is the Prometheus that we want. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And it's going to take only an hour. We've got speeders. Yeah, use some of them. And we will complete it like so. So that actually, I need to, like I said beforehand, not fortify, sorry. You can actually modify. So what I would need to modify this up to the next stage, you can see I'll actually get a boost in stats for that as well, is another 50 cards. So my brain's telling me I'm thinking, right, so if I save up my campaign points, I can go back over there, basically do the same thing, pick up another 50 blueprints, and then modify my Prometheus up and get more stats. Do you see what I'm saying? But for now, what we're going to do is basically fortify it, Get some XP on there. There we go. Level 2. Max that out to level 6. We don't have a lot, but we'll see how far we can get to level 10. And a few more there to level 11. Thank you very much. Maybe consider when I've got it a bit higher level, popping a captain in there. Thinking at the moment. Might have to put a bit of thought into that. Um... But yeah, basically, it is as simple as that. So if you do not have the Prometheus flagship, save up your campaign points. I've also done it in my other spaceport as well. Uh, so that is Parker. And yeah, again, you know, I mean, the great thing about the campaign store as well is just to sort of look at it. There are many different, you know, you can get blueprints for all sorts of flagships over here. It's always worth looking, you know, flagship data chips. You can flick through for free once every day. And then obviously you can use Corium to refresh it again. 
But there's many different things over here. The Athena, you see there. Brontus. Many different blueprints, etc. That, you know, you guys can come over here and check out at your own leisure. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you've got the Prometheus. If not, get on the case and get that flagship. If you haven't checked out Infinity Galaxy, I think you should. Link will be in the description. Big shout out to them for sponsoring me at the moment. I really appreciate this. I'm really enjoying it as well. I'm really just chilling out with a nice group of people over here. Um, yeah, so let me know. Also, link to my Discord will be in the description. Feel free to come and join us. We're always chatting about just general stuff, games, and just having a you know, just a good time. I'm Mr. Ryan. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will catch you peeps later.